We're working on the 890. We're holding regular reviews at the moment to try and catch out all the last little things and close this ship out and get it ready for you guys. So I'll give you a little update of some of the stuff that we've been working on lately. So here we have the cargo room situated at the back in the lower decks. Quite a bit of space for the cargo and I'll just clear that out of the way. So got the little windows there, see it going down. Big open space, we've got the components in here. So at the back, we've got the jump drive. And then over at this end, we've housed all the other main components down here. Got the engine rooms, twin engines either side. Quickly go up these stairs. I'm going to quickly just go through the rest of this deck, walk you through to the hangar. Most of this deck's reserved for the crew who work and serve the guests on this ship. So here we've got the galley. You'll have to excuse the fire going on. We're in the middle of doing a VFX pass. So as we go through here, the crew, as well as having the seating area, they've got their own little recreation room. So they've got a pool table, the arcade machine and drinks fridge. And then outside of there, because on the other side of this door, we've got the hangar and it could be that we've got the hangar doors open and it's vented, so we've got a suit per member of crew so they can suit up before they go through. So you suit up and then of course we need an airlock so we don't vent the ship. We won't have it so both doors open at the same time. That needs setting up yet. But we go through. It's a big ship with a big hangar and it's designed in such a way that the whole floor will rise up on these pillars that you see here and they'll take you up flush with the exterior, which if you know the shape, it's a big flat wedge and you'll be flush up there and it'll make landing and taking off a, a lot easier rather than trying to bring it in this place. Um, other things in here to note, we've taken a basketball cart and put that in there because you've got the excuse of a big open place. You'd use it for things, wouldn't you? I mean, it's a little nod to Prometheus there. And then the other things we've got in here, we've got grab plates so we can squeeze a bit more cargo up front end. So symmetrical on both sides, but essentially between all these pillars, we've got room for a bit more. And then at the far end, we've got access up to the man turret that is mounted on the top side. And then behind this door, we've got access to the man turret that's mounted on the belly of the ship. Okay, so if we move on on this deck, it forms a circuit, twin airlock just like on the other side. And then here is the waiting room, so you can imagine your rich guests. They'll come and sit in here while they're waiting for their 85X or whatever to come and pick them up. And then this is like a, a corridor that the guests would use for getting to their part of the ship. So I'll just quickly walk along here and then they'd go up in this lift, but then the only way between these crew decks with a cargo and the hangar is two elevators, one either side, the other one was in the kitchen, if you spotted it. And then in the event if power's down, we always need to make sure there's a way of getting around the ship. So we've got a ladder here. I'll just jump onto this. Just need to sync up that animation with the bars a little better, but with, that's just an easy edit. And you can take that to connect the, the guest pair to the ship from the lower ship. If I just quickly jump out of game mode, I can show you how the lighting might look in that scenario. So I just select this guy, hide it, put um, so obviously for ships, we do different lighting states. We've got auxiliary and we've got the emergency as well as the normal. The power's down, you might be under attack and the ship might be in a bad state. That might be one scenario where the lifts aren't working and you need to take the ladders to get around. Um, I've only just switched it on here for this one bit to show you. Okay, so that brings us up to the main guest section of the ship through the atrium and then 
behind this door, this is the uh, the spare deck. So quickly drop into game. So we can just have a walk around here, show you what different elements we've got on this deck. So as you go in to the right, got bench and lockers. Again, props have been doing some cool assets for us to put in the highlighting the bench here, obviously, so you can sit down on it. We've got two saunas and two showers. Over this side, we've got the jacuzzi. So you may have seen shots of this from a while back and it was a big rocky cave. Some people called it a grotto. It didn't really feel in keeping with the ship, so it's had a, a rework. And as it stands now, we've got this central jacuzzi. We've got a water wall at the back that we've lit. And it also acts as like a, a screen in, in one fashion where you can go behind and maybe get changed for going in. In here, you can probably see rocks and plant life. Then we've got a glass bottom and then we've got a fish tank. No fish at the moment, but if we get a fish tank, we'll get some fish swimming around in there. You can actually go in there, interact with the seats and sit down. Okay, so that's some of the rooms that we've been working on lately. Uh, there's 68 rooms in total that we'd like to leave for you guys to go and explore. But I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you here today.